Now onto the receiver of the Maxcom 4E. The chassis used in a lot of the 1981-1982 Maxon produced sets. The Cobra 295, the uh, Comtron 40F, the Midland 2001, 3001, 4001, all the Maxcom range. The compact ones are a slight variation on the chassis, such as the 20E and the 21E. So you've got the Maxcom 6E, the 16E, the 30E, same thing but with the crystal filter. Um, what else have we got? The Colt 295 and Cobra 21X FM. That's what it is. Oh, and Sertel Searcher. That's off the top of my head. Right, so moving on to the receiver. Okay, well, we can hear from the signal generator that it is, in fact, working. It's clear just to service this. Again, it's come with no job ticket, so it's anybody's guess. So far, we've been able to uh, bring the transmitter up from 2.9 watts to 4 watts. The deviation was very, very low at 0 0.5, something like that. We brought that up to 2.5. So it would have been very, very quiet, and I presume that's why it's coming for service. Now, see what we can do to the receiver for the customer. Well, the first quote to adjust is, um, is Transformer 5. The Transformer 5, I'll point it out with the yellow tool, is that one. So we'll just... Um, just adjust my oscilloscope so I can see what we're doing. In fact, I think we need to turn the volume up slightly. What we're doing is looking at a synad meter and an oscilloscope. So that was Transformer 5. Moving to Transformer 6 for the second one. Transformer 6, moving to Transformer 7, gained a little bit there, Transformer 8, Transformer 9, use the yellow tool, And then finally the detector, so we'll put a 100 microvolt signal on and set for maximum audio. It's just under the wiring harness there, next to the uh, IF subsystem chip there. I don't know which way to get the tool into that. And that's L105, so we're tuning that for maximum audio. And this can often be out on sets of this chassis. It's very much on or off. I'm going to have to adjust the... In fact, I think we need to turn the volume up. And that volume control needs cleaning. And there we have peak. I'll just pause the video and clean the volume control with the service off, um, cleaner we use. There we are, it's clean the volume control so it's nice and quiet or whatever we want. So that's set the receiver up. Now while we've got the signal generator on, on 100 microvolts, that's the correct signal for S9, you need to just look at the meter on the front and see what that's reading. Well it's actually reading S5. So we need to adjust the meter for reading our um, S9 and it's what? Hmm. Okay, folks, well, we've got a snag in setting the S meter because there isn't any adjustment on this particular version. Now, sometimes there is and sometimes there isn't. And the service information here says set the S meter adjustment, set the generator to 40 decibels, which is 100 microvolts, which I have, and then there's nothing else, no further instructions. And I've looked at the circuit diagram and I've looked at the radio. And there's no meter adjustment. So if you didn't like it reading S5 when it's really S9, well, I suppose the radio would have to be modified. But seeing as we don't do modifications, that's how it is. And I will make a note to the customer 
but that is how this type of radio is. So, I think that concludes it. I'll check the sensitivity. Oh, we've got to do the squelch, haven't we? Right, so I've set the signal generator to nothing. Set the squelch to threshold. Put the generator back on. It's coming through uh, really about 0.4 microvolts. Now we'll turn the generator back off again. We'll set the squelch to full. And we'll see when the squelch comes in. And it comes in at about one volt so you're looking at just over a plus 30 signal that's fine but if we needed to adjust the squelch the preset for it is RV 101 which is just down there so that concludes it and the next video we'll do an on the air test